Thank you for joining today's training session. Today we're going to show you some uh, new technologies we have that are built in RB8 and for RB Web, and that directly uh, show up on our mobile apps as well for the iPhone and iPad. Before I begin with all that, um, I want to take some time and actually introduce uh, my, our team, for those of you that don't know us. I'm in the back drinking coffee. That's uh, Stella. <laughs> Stella Chang, our vice president. Next to Stella is Nancy Martin. She does all of our manuals, basically all of our documentation. She makes everything understandable because we can't write. Over here we have Ronnie Sampson. He does all of our graphics and uh, he does beautiful artwork. And uh, from the support team, uh, we have David Cho here manning the computer. <coughs> this is, first time, actually, is your first time at a conference? No, I Second? First one was in Houston. Nobody remembers you anymore. I don't think so. Either. Okay. Uh, over here we have Ted Yu. A lot of you know Ted. He's been around for a long time. And uh, myself, I'm Jason Yi. I've Jeez. talked to many of you for years. So it's good to be back. Thank you for taking the time out of your Friday afternoon. I wish we had drinks. That's okay. Okay, so what we're going to talk today about legal technology time savers. Okay, so ways we're actually taking transcript production to the next level and what you can offer your clients. Is this only available on RB Web subscription? Uh, that's correct. We'll, we'll go over all that. Okay. Yes. yes. Please hold all your questions. <laughs> <laughs> that's no fun, Jason. <laughs> okay, so before we begin, you'll notice our terminology at the top says mobile transcript. So the first thing you may be asking yourself is, what is a mobile transcript? Mobile transcripts are giving your clients a new way to work while they are mobile. Basically, not having to be in front of a PC, not having to have an actual internet connection. Mobile transcripts are transcripts designed to work natively on mobile devices like iPhones and iPads. They are better than PDF or other transcript formats for viewing on mobile devices because they are designed for maximum legibility on the smaller screens. They work like other mobile apps, so they are easy to learn and operate. And they eliminate the need to always have to bring your laptop if you want to work away from your desk. Okay, Mobile Elite Transcript, or ME Transcript for short. So basically before we get to that portion, what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you RB8, we're going to give you a live demonstration, and we're actually going to cover the transcript package creating process inside of RB8. After that, we're going to give you a live demonstration of how your clients use transcript packages on their mobile devices and laptop computers. Okay, so what is a transcript package? <clears throat> Currently, you offer things such as full page transcripts, condensed transcripts, Exhibits, video, audio files, word lists, etc. And in order to create these items in RB8, you need to create them individually using specific functions. By utilizing transcript packages, we are giving you the ability to offer your clients all of those items in a single package. So let's see how these transcript packages are created inside of RB8. Okay. To begin, basically, before you can actually uh, begin with the transcript package creation process in RBA, uh, we, we're going to look at the actual RBA turn-in, because a lot of the process that you do now is still the same as far as uploading of the actual files. So to begin, we're going to open up a turn-in, okay? and we have a job, and we're going to open up that job here in the turn-in, and we already have some of the turn-in actually done. So we have the witness was, that was deposed, we have that turned in. And also to the right, we have an order created for our contact, Harvey Specter. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up the actual witness, and we're going to click on the Witness Level Repository tab. Now, for those of you, and it's pretty much all of you that have RB Web, you're used to actually uploading the transcript, the ASCII, the exhibits, video files here, because that's how RB basically gives the accessibility in RB Web and the transcripts function. So that process is all still the same. You can still create your PDF transcript here if you, have, if you actually needed to. But basically, you always come here and always upload your files. Okay. 
So at a minimum, that's what you should have done before you can create the transcript package. So let's go ahead and close out of here. So we're going to go to the transcript packages now. So it's under production. And right here, transcript packages. OK, so the layout of the transcript packages function has your search criteria on the left, your results pane on the right, just like with any standard function inside of RBA. Now, this is only for searching. So you would come back here if you were looking for a transcript package you already created. So in our example, we're actually going to create one, so we're not going to be searching for anything. So when you're ready to create a new transcript package, you're simply going to right click anywhere, and you're going to select new. So in here, this is a new transcript package window. You're going to input your job number, and you're going to click search. OK, so what appears up here at the top is the actual ASCII file. That's the ASCII that was turned in in step one of the turn in that was tied to the witness. Okay. Now, down below, down here, these are basically options that you can include in your transcript package. Uh, basically, it says select file types to link to this package automatically for each section. Okay? So by default, we have exhibits. They will automatically be included. We have video files. And then under our other files, I know it's a little hard to see, it's, uh, it says ASCII, and there's a, all your other file types, so you can check off others. And then PDF transcript, if you scroll down, it's going to be there as well. So we automatically include those items. Okay, so it's real simple. All you have to do when you want to create your transcript package is check create, and then at the top left, click create transcript package. And there we go, operation was successful. You can go ahead and click OK. And at this point, we can go ahead and close the new transcript window. Okay. So right here, after we have uh, closed that window, you'll see your transcript package appear. Okay. So now there are a couple options that you can actually uh, do on the actual transcript package where you can uh, add a couple more things, which I'm going to show you right now. So let's go ahead and double click that transcript package. And if you take a look at this right here, basically it's broken down into sections. Okay, we have a section up here for exhibits. And then you'll be able to do the linking of the exhibits. We have a section for the alias for the exhibits. We have videos, and we have other files. So you'll be able to basically click Add and add additional files if you need to on the fly. But see, by doing it in the turn-in in step one, that eliminates the need for you to have to do it all manually in each section. So if you're already used to doing it in the turn and uploading all those files, it makes more sense to continue to do it that way, because this is just going to slow you down if you have to do it one by one. So in here, if I didn't really have any files to actually add, the one thing I do want to do, since I do want to link these exhibits to their alias inside the transcript, is I want to create my alias pattern. So we'll click Add Alias Pattern here. And here you'll make a file pattern, a file name pattern, and an alias pattern. Basically what that is, is that's the common name in the file name, and that's the common name in the linked, uh, linked name as well. It'll be our, our file name pattern will be exhibit, and our alias pattern will be exhibit. Because everything is labeled exhibit one, exhibit two, exhibit three, and that's how it'll also show up inside the transcript. So once we save that alias pattern, if you look over there under alias for exhibit, he highlighted exhibit one, and the alias name reads Exhibit 1. If you highlight Exhibit 2, that also changes to Exhibit 2. So that means when you see Exhibit 2 show up, it's going to be automatically underlined. They can click it, and the exhibit is automatically going to pop up. be nice and easy. Before we close out of here, there's a couple more things you can actually do that are pretty neat. Okay? The first one at the top is Security. By clicking Security, what you're actually uh, doing is you're actually granting access to the contacts that will have the ability to create these transcript packages in RDWeb and on, on their mobile devices, and they'll be able to export whatever you give them access to. So what we'll do is we'll click Look Up Accessible Contact List, and what RB already does is it looks at the turn in. Remember, I had the order already created in step two, so it's grabbing whoever was ordering on that particular witness. And this example is Harvey Specter. Now. From the same firm, we also have Rachel Zane listed there because she's his paralegal. So we've given Rachel Zane access to Harvey's information because she'll log in as herself and she'll usually do all the work. Harvey really won't be logging in. Mm -hmm. If you had access all in the contacts, would that be able to everybody show up? You know, um, access all? In the contacts, when you would have 
from the access to everything? Oh, uh, like if, if from within the same firm? Right. Yes. So that they all show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can grant it on a person by person level. Now, all the way to the right, there's some options for checkboxes. Can this transcript, word exhibit, word list? One of the things that you'll actually have the ability, ability to do in the transcript package is you can grant your client the ability to export a condensed transcript, a word index, or a word list. But if you don't want them to be able to do that because they didn't order it, then you simply uncheck that option and they won't be able to export it. Okay? So in our example, we're going to uncheck word list because we don't want them to be able to export that. So let's go ahead and we'll check off import under Harvey and Rachel and we'll click import and now for the security we have them listed with their options of what they can do with the actual transcript package okay let's go ahead and close this okay lastly now that we have the transcript package created and we have our security applied the last thing we want to do is we actually want to notify our clients that this transcript package is available for download otherwise they're never going to know Right? So at the top here, we have a send notifications button. We can go ahead and click that. And right here is going to be set to notify Harvey. The email field is um, accessible. You can actually click in there and you can actually type. So you can type in more email addresses or you can change it all together, whatever you want to do. Down here, we do have the option to show the mail composer, or you can uncheck it if you don't want to and you just want to send it out directly. On our example, we'll go ahead and leave it checked. Let's click send notifications. So this is the actual email that will go out. It'll be given a subject line, which you guys can actually uh, design in the website configurations. And uh, basically, this is the body of the email. This is what the transcript package pertains to. And the actual link right here that is sent to the client will launch RBWeb, the login page. And once they log in, it'll take them directly to this transcript package. They don't have to search for it. And again, another time saver. And down here, this is an attachment section if you wanted to attach anything for any reason. And of course, you can just type anything in on the fly if you wanted to. But if you're ready to send it out, we'll go ahead and click send. And there we go. So that's basically it for the transcript package creation process in RB8. So let's go ahead and close this. Okay. Now we're going to move on to being mobile. Mobile transcripts. We have a picture of a desktop computer, a laptop computer, and your mobile device. So now you're going to see the transcript package work live on RB Web. We're actually going to show you the laptop version and the iPad version. So it's actually pretty neat because you can work with the same transcript on your different devices by syncing them to the latest version you worked on. It's the same transcript, but it's been customized to work better for each format. For example, the mobile version, which you'll see, is somewhat stripped down to focus on what's most feasible to do on a mobile device, like reading, searching, highlighting, and commenting. The browser-based version is the one that you'll view on your larger screens, on your desktop and your laptop. And that'll give you linked exhibits and video, plus the ability to print and export in different formats. As long as you sync your latest version each time, which is really just another way of saving the file, then no matter which device you view it on, you will see your latest highlights and comments. So now I'm going to pass the microphone to Ted, and he's going to give you the demonstration on RDWeb.